Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. You'll be doing one-step equations. You will be able to work on 11.10 and 11.11. .11. Today, students will be able to identify what operation to use to solve uh, an equation. And so basically, this is just a review of the last two classes. Um, and we will be needing our sign chart. So I, re I recommend that you have this in a small flashcard until you really remember them. Because if you don't know your signs, then you're going to have a lot of trouble throughout algebra and geometry and algebra 2, etc., etc. Okay? Or now math 1, math 2, and math 3. Okay, so have this handy because you're going to need it. And so, again, it's a mixture now. They're going to come mixed. And so in here, you have adding one. Remember that inverse operations. Let me write the inverse operations. So in the first, in lesson 11.7, you learned that, that addition and subtraction are inverse operation. Meaning they cancel each other. So when you add and subtract the same number, they cancel each other. And we also know that when you multiply and divide, that's from 11.9 uh, and 10, I believe. Um, then, no, 9, perdón, sorry. <laughs> so multiplication and division cancel each other, okay? So if you add and subtract the same number, they cancel because it becomes 0. But when you multiply and divide by the same number, they cancel because it becomes one, the coefficient one. So, having that in mind, let's begin with the first exercise. So if I'm adding one, the opposite is to subtract one. So cancel by subtraction. Subtraction or subtracting, it doesn't matter. Remember that you put the dividing line in the where the equal sign is 1 minus 1 is 0 so you just end up with p equals 5 minus 1 that's 4 and if you think about it oh i can check by replacing p with the 4 the value of p is 4 so i can just say 4 plus 1 oh it is equal to 5 okay so it makes sense that's a way of checking if your answer is correct 4 plus 1, it has 5, which is what it says in there. Okay, what is going on in the second one? Oh, remember, anytime I see a fraction, it means division. What's the opposite of division? Oh, we're going to cancel by multiplying. Remember that multiplication and division cancel each other. So I'm going to cancel it in here. They cancel, and so I end up with x equals positive times negative. Oh, be careful. Which chart do I use? Positive times negative. It means multiplication. So positive times negative is negative. And 4 times 2, 8. Okay, so remember to go to this... Um, Signs. If you don't, if you didn't see the previous lessons, make sure you go back so that you can review um, the signs. Okay. Okay. Number three. I'm subtracting four. What is the inverse operation of subtraction? Oh, I'm gonna cancel by adding. Okay. Just remember, multiplication and division cancel each other. Addition and subtraction cancel each other. So if I'm subtracting, the opposite is to add to both sides. Remember, it has to be one on this side and one on this side, okay, of the equal sign. And so my answer will be m equals, I have two positives, and it's for addition, it's not division, so... When I have two positives, I'm going to add and leave the greatest sign. So 4 plus 2 is 6. And that's it. Okay. 
The next one is 28 equals 7 t. I want to leave t by itself. So if I'm multiplying, remember that if you have a number and a variable, that means multiplication. The opposite is to divide by 7. And so, whoops, sorry about that. Um, I divide. And so, this cancel, because 7 divided by 7 is 1t. I don't need to put the 1. I already know that the 1 is in there. And 28 divided by 7 equals 4. Again, positive divided by positive. That's division. So I'm going to use this one. Positive divided by positive is positive. Okay. That's it. Okay, let me do some more in here. So, in here I have, again, a fraction means division. The opposite of division is multiplication. Multiplication and division, we keep the same sign, okay? Be careful. So, cancel by multiplying. Multiplication and division keep the sign, keep the same sign, and they cancel. And what do I get? If this cancels, on this side I only have n. In here I have positive times negative. Okay, I go my, to my chart of positive times negative, negative. Or, if I want to use the Mr. Mouse, is positive times negative, the answer is negative. Okay, so negative and 7 times 3, 21. Okay, so that's my answer. Remember that some teachers prefer to have the variable on the left, so n equals negative 21. Okay, so you just have to see what's going on. What is the inverse operation of that operation that is taking place? So in here, what is taking place? Oh, I'm adding 8. The opposite of adding is subtracting. So cancel by subtracting. So if I'm adding 8, remember that I'm going to put the line in here. I'm going to subtract 8 in here. And on the other side of the equal, just to maintain that equality, because if, again, if I have the same and I subtract 8 on this side, they're not equal anymore. So I have to subtract and then they are equal. And so I get Z equals, okay, this is addition and subtraction. I go to this table and it says, if I have a positive and a negative, what I'm going to do is subtract. And after I subtract, I look at the greater sign, okay? So 8 minus 5 is 3, and the greater sign, which one is bigger? Which one is bigger? 8 is negative, so I'm going to owe 3. Or you can say, I have $5, I owe $8, I still owe $3, okay? Okay, the next one... This means division. The opposite of division is multiplication. So cancel by multiplying. And if I'm dividing by negative 12, I'm going to multiply by negative 12. If I do it on one side, I have to do it on the other side, okay, to keep this equality. Okay, otherwise it's not going to be equal. So it's not fair. Why are you multiplying in there and not here? It has to be done in both. And so this cancels. Remember in multiplication and division, you cancel with the same sign. So I'm going to have I on this side. And in here, negative times negative. Okay, let's go with Mr. Mouse. Negative times negative. The answer will be positive. And 12 times 12. Is 144. Some teachers don't like that, so it's going to be I equals 144. Now, how did I do that of getting the answer so fast? Um, what you can just do is putting 12 
times 12, okay, 12 times 12, and then you say 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 1, 2. Then go to the next one and say 1 times 2, 2, 1 times 1, 1. And you add this, and so we get 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, and bring down the 1. So it's 144. And then you sign the you multiply the sign. Negative times negative is positive. Okay. Okay, let's go to the last one. And it says the negative 2 is equals to g minus 5. If I want to leave g by itself, I'm subtracting 5. The opposite of subtracting is adding. And whatever I do on one side, I have to do it on the other side. So I'm going to cancel by adding. Okay, this cancels and so it's going to be g equals negative 2 plus 5. That means I owe two dollars, I pay five, so I end up with three. Okay, so it's going to be g equals three. And that's it. So now you can work on pages 10.10 and 10, I mean, no, 11.10 and 11.11. .11. Okay, so have fun.